Jumping in on Manx Radio with Howard and Chris Kane. Hello, good evening, and welcome. Bang, pop, wee. And here we are again, don't worry, we haven't quite lost it entirely yet. It is a, a jumping in, uh, the best in modern and contemporary jazz with a bit of a spin, of course, tonight with myself, H. And me, Chris, and welcome along to this week's show. And what a cracker it is of the uh, fire rather than the Christmas variety as we delve into the standard family box of musical fireworks while keeping the safety fuse at arm's length with our Bonfire Night themed show with links possibly even more tenuous than usual. So, H, what have you set to spin tonight other than the resolutely stationary Catherine wheel and which damp squibs have flipped and then flopped. Ah, well, you see, I have some sparks uh, leading to a complete conflagration and then some firefighters. And for me, we rhyme in time, we do everything but pop, we illuminate the heavens, we glow till we stop, but we desperately read the instructions as we retreat to a safe distance. Look out, it's going to blow, here's Banger. <laughs>
Banger by name and indeed by nature from Manchester's own Beats and Pieces big band from their 2018 release 10 celebrating their first decade and recorded live in front of a friendly crowd in the same rehearsal hall at the Royal Northern College of Music where guitarist, composer and band leader Ben Cottrell first brought together 13 other students and friends to play his music and in their testament to their time together on the road the entire album was recorded live and from memory. Thankfully uh, as they reached their 15th birthday the band is still going strong despite half of them being leaders in their own bands. They still have time to get together and actually have a great new album out earlier in this year, which I promised to try and fit in a future show before the end of the year. So what's next in our special display, H? <laughs> well, thinking about it, you know, if I'd done this in order, I suppose I would have done, as I mentioned at the beginning, Spark, Conflagration and Firefighter. I haven't actually programmed that order, but uh, they make sense when you think about it. I'm actually going to start with The Conflagration, uh, which is the name of a wonderful album, going back in the day by the great John Sermon. Still going strong, but a real firebrand in his younger days. He's much more, uh, like anything, I suppose, we all mellow with age, don't we? Like a fire. Starts off loads of sparks and then gradually dies down, doesn't it, and settles into a lovely sort of warm glow after a while. Uh, But this is back in the day in the 70s when he was working in the trio with Barra Phillips and Stu Martin on drums. A couple of albums out. This was the second of two released on a pie, I think, which was called Conflagration. And that is exactly what we're going to hear now.
I told you it was a flower brand back in the day. Conflagration. Really was a conflagration, wasn't it? The trio, John Sermon, uh, with his band of the time, the trio, which was the name they just went by, John on saxes and reeds, uh, and then uh, Stu... Uh, I keep calling him Stu Peters, Stu Martin, <laughs> Stu Martin on drums, sadly no longer with us, and Barra Phillips uh, on a bass, and that conf- uh, made up the trio. They brought their first album out in, I think, about 1970, and then in Pi they cut this one, Conflagration, in uh, 1971, released in the summer of that year. Uh, it had a sort of mixed review. Someone said, oh, didn't quite have the feeling, but it was well-reviewed overall a single LP half a dozen lengthy tracks uh, and they all took composing honours of it so they all had a few track ones a few tracks there of each of their own making as it were that one albeit lots of improvisation as you could hear was penned by uh, Barra Phillips and also as you gathered it wasn't just a trio it was made up of well an amazing uh, number of musicians not all associated with the free side of things either Uh, Alan Skidmore Mike Osborne Kenny Wheeler was in the mix there Uh, Harry Beckett and on the keyboards we've heard almost finishing the track off there none other than Chick Corea yeah, we're all allowed to be young, you know, don't, uh, don't knock it. Oh, it's uh, good stuff. Now, jazz and poetry have sat side by side. It's, it's the start of jazz as a music form, not always as comfortable um, bedfellows, it might be said, but the decades have uh, inspired great musicians. Duke Ellington uh, was actually a well-known poet himself, of course. Dylan Thomas's Under Milkwood gave us Stan Tracy's possibly most famous recording, and Mike Garrick wrote numerous suites, including poetry. American poet and author Robert Creeley made a couple of great recordings with Steve Swallow, one which curiously came on randomly in the car as I was uh, driving up here this evening with Bob Moses, Dave Liebman and Lyle Mays at the piano. All good stuff. And now fellow American Lisa Marie Simmons releases her second album with pianist and composer Marco Cremaschini. Note speak 12. It's entirely inspired by the number 12, be it in religion, astrology, music, obviously with the 12 turn scale, and elsewhere. Here's Sparkler. New Year's Eve out on the lawn, I'm dancing around. I got my sparkler drawn. Writing names in the night, setting everything I like. Got my sparkler drum. Early morning, barely dawn, barefoot with my mic on, and I got my sparkler drum. Going to the grocery store, smiling at everybody, for I got my sparkler drum. Fizzing up, I'm spreading it, pouring from my fingertips, cause I know this world is lit. With every step, every meet, I wouldn't feel complete without my sparkler drum. Just up, step into the van, nothing that feels better than my sparkler drum. Looking past the footlights, glow, sharing everything I know, I got my sparkler drum. Show's over, I get a drink, see that smile that's that spin, right there then I see you wink. You got your sparkler drum, while you're dancing on, we got our sparklers drum. Sleep I yawn in my dreams I carry on I got my sparkler drum Gonna keep on throwing light Deep into the heart of night With my sparkler drum With my sparkler drum With my nightgown on, I got my sparkler drum. Going to the grocery store, smiling at everybody, for I got my sparkler drum. Fizzing up, I'm spreading it, pouring from my fingertips, cause I know this world is lit. With every step, every meet, I wouldn't feel complete without my sparkler drum. Dressed up, step into the van, nothing that feels better than my sparkler drum. The footlights glow, sharing everything I know. I got my sparkler drum. 
Show's over, I get a drink. See that smile you transmit right there, there. I see you wink. You've got your sparkle drunk while you're dancing on. We got our sparklers drawn. Dropping off to sleep, I yawn in my dreams. I carry on. I got my sparkler drum. Gonna keep on throwing light deep into the heart of night with my sparkler drum. Wow, with my sparkler drum. Spotless drum. Sparklers drawn. Have you got your sparklers drawn? Ready to light up and keep oh, them Sparklers on, drawn? I thought she said sparklers, sparklers drum. drum. No, yeah, sparklers yeah, drawn. Right. Lisa Marie Simmons and Marco Cremonisci and Note Speak 12 putting words and music together in a fine and slightly West Coasty vibe. I think uh, feel there. It reminded me of something I was just discussing. We, I thought it might be Annette Peacock with uh, Bill Bruford. But we also thought it might be uh, Grace Jones, but it could be anything. Anyway, the album is out now on rope dope and many thanks to them for sending us a copy. Yeah, and we quite often say, well, it's not a car one, that. Well, that one is a car one, isn't it? You know, that's that's the exact opposite. I wouldn't put that on late at night with a whiskey. I would put that on maybe in the car when you're bowling along somewhere. Uh, yeah, the exact opposite to what's Don't use sparklers with in the, the car, children. I don't, I don't like the sparklers there. Right, well, I, I hear your uh, sparklers and uh, I'll give you in return a spark. Uh, the name of a Blue Note album from the great uh, Japanese trumpeter Telema Sakino, who I've always been something of a fan. Uh, some of his early stuff is a bit uh, wacky and electronic, and it can be very funky at times. But this is quite a fine album, I think, came back, I think, in the 80s, if memory serves correct. No, 1994, I'm a decade out, in the mid-90s. And uh, here's a track he just calls Art Blakey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good stuff. I like old Terra Masahino, widely regarded as one of Japan's greatest ever jazz musicians. Still going strong. I've never seen him live, it must be said. It'd be lovely to have a, a chat with him some stage, but I've never seen him live. I've always enjoyed Now Hear This with Hal Galper and the late Tony Williams on drums. I thought it was one of his best ever albums. That one fitting in with our bonfire theme, of course, called Spark on Blue Note from the mid-1990s uh, with a host of uh, Japanese colleagues... Uh, Tatsuyu Sato on a tenor sax there, uh, also uh, Bensuki Sako on bass, and a whole scutch of others. I do recognise Don, uh, is it Don Elias? Yeah, it is Don Elias, here we are. Don Elias on percussion, I thought I saw a name somewhere. And Motokiko Hino, who I think is his brother, I could be wrong, on drums. And uh, Teramasa Hino himself, uh, born in Tokyo, uh, plays cornet, plays flugel and whatever, started out tap dancing, amongst other things. His uh, dad was a trumpeter and a tap dancer. And so, not surprisingly, he taught young Teramasa to uh, tap dance and play the trumpet. I don't know whether he still taps dance or not, but he can still play the trumpet well. He had a good run with Larry Curiel and 11th House as well. Now, next from me, an old favourite and a thoroughly nice bloke to boot. He once sent me one of his albums as uh, I'd been talking to him, and it was out of print. He played with Hendrix, he opened for the Stones, he hung out with the Beatles, and his dad was a train driver in India. Would you like to proffer a guess? Gary Boyle. Oh, well done. Here's Snap Crackle.
Well, if he hadn't managed it, I would have said Isotope to give you more of a chance, but that was Gary Boyle from his second solo release after Isotope Electric Glide, recorded back in 1978 with lots of special guests, including duetting on guitar, including Gary Moore, Kenny Shaw, and on that track, Robert Awai and Simon Phillips on the drums, Phil Chen on the bass, and Pete Jacobson on the keyboards. As one reviewer once said, Gary Boyle, possibly the best guitarist you've never heard of, and I'm glad to say, at 80 years young, 81 years young, I beg his pardon, Gary is still playing. Excellent. It's always good to hear. You're listening, of course, to Jumping In with Chris and myself, H, with a bit of a bonfire special. Well, it is that time of year, isn't it? It's got to be done. So uh, lots of uh, crackers, as we like to think. And uh, here's one uh, I haven't heard for quite some time, actually. It's been lurking up in the bedroom. I played it a while back. It's, again, late at night music, this one. And it was quite a popular one back in the day. I seem to remember liking this one. Um... Oh, I don't know, a few years back now, I think it was the, again, early 1990s. Marcus Stockhausen, that's right, younger Stockhausen, Karl Heinz's son, who we have seen once or twice, and uh, a fine player. He, both on the free stage and also on the classical free and sort of minimalist, and he had several out on ECM as well. This one was around about the time, if you remember, of the great Windsor fire, the Annus Horribilis of uh, Queen Elizabeth II, and actually features the fire on the front of this and he called the album Despite the Firefighter's Efforts. And this track is just fire. <laughs>
Yeah, we were just saying we haven't heard that one for quite some time. We used to be a great fan of Continuum. Uh, Rainer Bruninghaus with Marcus Stockhausen are playing trumpets on there, uh, but I think that was under actually Rainer Bruninghaus's name, if memory serves correct. Uh, this one is as well. Aparis is the name of the group. Marcus Stockhausen on uh, trumpets and flugelhorn. Uh, Simon Stockhausen, his brother, on keyboards and soprano sax. And then Joe Thins, I think it is T H O umlaut. NES on acoustic and electronic drums and the album, like I said, despite the firefighters' efforts. And yeah, great to hear that one again. It's sort of of its time, but I still enjoy it. Moving on from the quirky and eclectic a Paris to the quirky and esoteric and equally eclectic, the non-identical from their debut release, Material Tropes, here's Fire in the Sky. Non-identical there with fire in the sky. Plenty of uh, that around tonight and tomorrow. The non-identical is the brainchild of composer and multi-instrumentalist Zach Gvi, and heard there on keyboards with Julie Kaya on uh, sax, Ben Davis on cello, and our old friend Seb Rochford on the drums. The group also has two poet vocalists and quite a tendency to be rather politically motivated. Interesting album. Material Tropes came out earlier in the year and is available now. Ah, yes, interesting indeed, and uh, atmospheric, it has to be said. You can't beat a bit of atmosphere on uh, bonfire night, can you? Uh, OK, uh, last one from me, I think, and uh, it's from the Bad Plus, now totally reformed, of course. Uh, we had a great chat with them last year at the London Jazz Festival. I can't remember whether we've actually uh, used that or not. Uh, I think we I'll have. I'll take a look and see if we have. Yeah, maybe we did with the Bad Plus special. Uh, so they've totally reformed now with, uh, obviously, saxes and such like. But this is back in the old original Bad Plus, the original format, the Power Piano Trio, with uh, Ethan Iverson taking the keys and... Uh, Wonderful sound they might made as well. You might recognise their version of Chariots of Fire.
Terrific stuff. Always like the uh, Bad Plus and from the album Suspicious Activity back in the day. Theme from Chariots of Fire. Ethan Iverson at the piano, Reed Anderson bass, Dave King at the drums. Great stuff. Great stuff indeed. And they were very nice chaps when we had a chat with them. Uh, well, that's about it for this particular edition of Jumped In, packed with shooting stars and as the bonfire collapses, leaving only the charred remains, and you stick the cinder toffee back in your pocket with the crowns it inadvertently remained, uh, took out. You wrap your potatoes in foil, stick them in the fire whilst toasting Marstellos and roasting your chestnuts. We'll leave you with a track from Brian Blade Fellowship's 2014 album, Landmarks. Here's Embers. Yeah. See you next week. You can roast your own chestnuts. <laughs>